They want to make sure that you have everything you need already in the, the devices you already have. So it's easier and cost efficient on a customer. However, it's elegant and beautiful at the same time. That's what Apple is trying to do. So what Apple has done lately, they decided to go with uh, a different approach than other companies when dealing with the metaverse, in my opinion. Now, this is not out there. This is more speculation. But they decided to say, hey, we're going to work on the M1 Ultra chip. I'm sure you're familiar with this. The M1 Ultra chip is one of the best, most renowned chips in the world right now with its ability to be integrated with GPU and all the connections, everything there, allowing the, the user to have a very seamless refresh rate. And the fact that the system works in a way where it's so much power in one computer, you question is all this necessary? And my answer is, it is. It is because they are not just trying to play the computer game or even in the phone game as well, as you notice that they are adding different parts to the system, which you already know they have radar, but they're saying, hey, let's go ahead and add in this high ultra chip as well. Now, I think the, the, the phone doesn't have an M1 Ultra, but they're working on something like that. And overall, my overall thought process is Apple's playing a long game, but they're like the guy who comes to the party, comes late, but they're life at the party, right? Because they want to know that when they get there, everyone's going to see them and everyone's going to be around them. And that's exactly what they're trying to do here. They're like, we're not a startup, right? We're not a company who's trying to rebrand ourselves. We know our brand. So as other companies, as a startup, you might say, well, I can't be hidden or I can't, you know, be stealth as Apple. Apple could be stealth because they have literally a long track record of constantly coming out with something and it being great. And their whole process of coming out and showing the world with all this debut certainly gets attention. So what does that mean? Apple is working, at least in my opinion, Apple is working on a brand new metaverse uh, platform we just heard from Facebook and Microsoft getting into the, the metaverse. What did, you, what did you think of those announcements and, and how does Apple think about it? Well, I wouldn't want to talk about those announcements, but in terms of the, uh, we've always said that AR is a core technology. And they're rolling out in pieces. So how are they rolling out? They're rolling out by letting out the M1 chip Ultra first. Now, I think there's the M1, in my opinion, I think there's the M2 in the works already. They just haven't put it out yet because this is the M1 Ultra. Now, this is one of the best chips you ever said. They just integrated the two chips together. But it's more to that. The M1 Ultra means the M2 is coming out at some point soon or they've already built the M2 and that might even be the next level to the, the metaverse. Now, why does the metaverse matter? Like, no one cares about the metaverse, right? And I agree, but I think Apple's taking a different spin to this. The spin that Apple's taking, in my opinion, is like, hey, we're not all about those huge, crazy avatars and, you know, and seeing things from a really weird perspective and you're playing all these goofy games. No, 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 no. We're Apple. We're different. You see things differently. Uh, we've always said that AR is a core technology and it's a technology I get super excited about and uh, I think it's profound. And I think it's profound in terms of the things that you can do with it and the enhancement to people's lives and the improvement in people's lives. And, but humanity has to be at the center of it. It's like any other technology. Uh, it has to be about humanity and, and helping humanity. And, and so you can bet that the way that we look at it is like that. So what we're gonna do is give you an AR experience, something that's tangible. Something that gives you a feeling of the real world, but however, you get to experience some information that supports you. So for example, if you're an avid runner, right? Or you're doing some kind of health or sports or something like that. And if you happen to be wearing um, these glasses, if they are making glasses, then it will show you the information that seems to be useful in this AR rich world, right? Where it's almost like a layer in this Multi, uh, in this multiverse, <laughs> in this metaverse, 
where they won't be able to build it where it's layering on top of the current world. There's the people more of the um, heightened experience than an alternate experience. How's Apple going to do this? Like, I mentioned the M1 chip, right? I mean, I have another opinion. I think, and this is something to look out for. I'm not providing stock advice, but here's my opinion. I think they're going to try to acquire some company, not like a Woody Parker glasses company, but a more so very, very luxury-like um, glasses maker that's not typically known or well-known, but more so who does the back work that provides to these companies. Like Wobby Parker or um, whatever the other ones are. And the whole point is so that they can take that company and start manufacturing these classes pretty quickly. Because they don't want to create these themselves. They don't want to build it themselves. They want to do the design work, right? And work with the engineers over at these companies who design the glasses. But they're not going to actually do all the work or manufacturing themselves. They want to buy companies already doing this. So they're not going to put this publicly out there. Um, this kind of acquisition would be low key. Because they don't want to tip people off. We're buying glasses. What are we doing with glasses? What do you think they're doing glasses? AR, baby. But that's kind of what they're doing. And I don't think they will put that publicly. But it's my opinion. I think it could happen within the next few years. But do you think that there will be a day where we'll all wear, you know, VR goggles and, and live in a digital universe? Uh, all is a big uh, word. <laughs> it's a very big word. And uh, I think there has to be advancements in technology that are beyond what is possible today. Um, that they're going to try to slowly integrate these small things in. And the whole reason why they're trying to do it stealthy, in my opinion, is they want to get the money out of the, out of the customer in a way that makes sense. So, for example, why would you buy a big clunky thing that you can use one time a day and you know, get into the VR experience and that's it, right? After that, you're like, you know, take it off, it hurts my eyes, I'm gonna go sit down and do something else, right? And then after a while, it begins to collect dust. Apple says, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something differently. What we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate it into the systems and devices you already use, right? You don't wanna take that away from you. So they're gonna probably use the computers you're buying now, right, with the M1 Ultra chip in there as a base to the metaverse which will allow you to have a lot of extra power to render these views and be able to create these experiences that couldn't be done before, right? Now, you might say, well, the glasses and the computer are two separate items. Well, based on my calculations, I'm joking. Um, the whole thing is the computation, the processing will be done on a machine. And then that rendering will then be processed and pushed to the user on their glasses. Same way with, I think, a lot more processing will be done on the phone, right? Right now, it's still primitive. But I think if they begin to start increasing the actual computer um, uh, CPU and graphics card on the actual phone, then you can take that with you as you go to different places. Because the problem these computers had before was you can't offload it to some other big honky machine like I got back there, right? See that thing right here, that thing, yeah. It, that's too much. But as now, as these processors are getting better and faster and quicker at a much smaller rate, it's possible. Um, before, you had to put all that into the actual glasses would make these things huge. But I think what they're trying to do is if we make the chips small enough, right? We can start embedding them into the phones or embedding them into computers. And that can be rendered, all that power can be rendered and then displayed on a screen through maybe Bluetooth, right? But in time, I also think they might try to get smaller and smaller and smaller and actually have it embedded within the actual um, glasses, but that's a whole different timeline. My thing is, I think Tesla, not Tesla, <laughs> not Tesla, baby. I think Apple is playing a long game. And they're saying, let's do it in a way where we get the, the, the most out of the customer, but also get the customer the best experience. Which means, what does it feel like when you buy something and you realize you already have all the pieces already there? You realize you just buy the one little piece and everything works, everything syncs. That's what Apple's trying to do. Uh, versus you buying the $3,000 piece that you might not buy. They say, oh, it's only worth 400 bucks, right? Because technically, I already bought the other $2,000, $3,000 of stuff for other things. 
And that's a good thing they like it. They, they, the one thing that Apple wants to do is make sure everything they provide you is multifaceted, right? So if you buy the computer, you're not just buying the computer to do um, metaverse stuff. You're buying the computer to do basically what you've already been doing before, which is all the high level editing and the processing, and maybe you're running AI on there, you're, write, you're writing code, or you're just on there watching a the movie, right? Those are the things you're already doing with your computer. We're just giving you leverage on that. And you're buying that with the new M1 chip. They're saying they're saying that's the process. And I think that's my opinion. That's what they're gonna do. And I think in a few years, or maybe just a year, next year, when they release their physical product, um, it's gonna completely change the game because they wanna make sure everyone has what they need before it happens. That's my opinion. Before they release their specific metaverse product or products they will make sure that you have everything you need already in the, the devices you already have to do process perform and operate so it's easier and cost efficient on a customer however it's elegant and beautiful at the same time that's what apple is trying to do i appreciate the work they're doing um if you have videos if you have any ideas, thoughts about this, please tell me why I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong, I'd love to know why. Then down below. I'll read them. All right. Take care. See you.